Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is PJP and in this video we're gonna check out Red Velvet's Oompa Oompa. This is their second comeback that is going to be uh, the kind of uh, loud noisy title track that has been a trend this year. So I'm very excited because that is exactly the type of music I love. So I'm curious whether I'm going to like this one. Who am I kidding? I'm going to like it. But let's see how much in 3, 2, 1. Man, Wendy with short hair is a 10 out of 10. And I guess this is not what I expected the title track is going to be. So I take my words back that it's going to be a uh, loud like uh, title track. Whoa, that was cool. That was a cool effect. I don't think uh, this song is gonna be the, uh, Red Flavor as the best uh, Red Velvet summer song, but it's definitely up there. I love the, the, I guess I should call them checkered or something like that, the checkered outfits, these ones, I love those. I don't get what's with the weird name though. At least with Zim Salabim it made sense because uh, it was a weird sounding song. And also Zim Salabim is a word. Uh, it's this essentially the same uh, like Abracadabra for those of you who have not heard that song, uh, that word before, Red Velvet. It's essentially meaning Abracadabra. Okay, let's listen listen to it one more time. In three, two, one. I'm not 
I love Wendy's uh, dress here. And this this year there are so many summer bobs. From my male group, uh, my favorite uh, summer song for this year is definitely ATS's Wave. Well, for girl groups, I still think it's uh, Wacky Makis. Uh, Tiki Taka. If you're interested, I have I've done a reaction to that, so if you can check that uh, one out. It's gonna be in the comments. Uh, what am I saying? In the description. So go check it out. So this is probably a close second for uh, girl groups. Oh man, I forgot about G Friends Fever. Well, I haven't done reaction to that one, I think. But I liked it a lot. So probably this is actually going to end up being the third best song. I appreciate that they actually sing during the chorus because uh, as much as I love a, no a, loud, a loud noisy title track that has uh, a huge uh, beat drop around the chorus or during the chorus, I appreciate a singing chorus. I've kind of forgotten what uh, a title track uh, a K-pop song with a singing chorus sounds like before Wikimiki's uh, recent release. Okay, I enjoy this song. It's uh, definitely not what I expected. And if I'm, be if I have to be honest, honestly, that umpa umpa is feels so out out of place in this song. Like Sim Salabim felt right for that song. It was weird sounding song with a weird structure and all that. But this one, it's it just out of place. This is one of pretty much uh, the reason why I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten, because that umpa umpa it kind of ruins the song a little. Because other other than that, it can. Uh, it can stand up against a red flavor as the either the best or the second best uh, summer title track from Red Velvet, but that umpa umpa just drags the song down. So yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. But it's a good song, and I'm gonna end up listening to it because I'm a Red Velvet fan after all. So yeah, what did you guys think? And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description to my Twitter and my Wattpad because I'm a writer. So far there's only one story but I'm gonna be adding more. Um, if you want to support me for my videos or for my stories, go over to Patreon. There are some rewards there. And if you like them, join. That way you can know that you have supported me and have allowed me to make more of these videos. Which I'm gonna make anyway but... We have to somehow uh, support. I have to somehow support myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Till next video.
Bye.